Okay, everybody. So, as you can see on the screen, she was a potential business owner, young woman about to give birth to her first child, the first grandchild. Here is a man that's been charged, and he has been given a what? One million dollar bond. A million dollar bond. So she died talking with her mom, and then also he was also at the other, um, also been charged with shooting at the vehicle because the boyfriend was hit. Murdered a pregnant woman and her unborn child the day before her baby shower. The woman and her boyfriend were found in a car shot in North Harris County on Friday. Tonight, ABC 13's Brooke Taylor is live with new information she's just learned. Brooke? Tom, the family of Jennifer Hernandez tells me she was expecting a little boy just so excited <sighs> to welcome him into this world. He was supposed to be the first grandchild, the first nephew of this family. Now the heartbroken family left planning a funeral instead of the baby shower. Eight months pregnant, Jennifer Hernandez was thrilled to become a mom, getting ready to celebrate her baby shower the very next day. But on Friday, she and her unborn child were killed. Harris County Sheriff's Office says Hernandez was with her 17-year-old boyfriend. The two just left a gas station on Airtex Drive in Ella Boulevard in a blue Nissan Sentra. That's when deputies say a driver in a white four-door sedan with tinted windows and paper plates sped up and shot into their car. The white sedan continued eastbound on Airtex Drive towards I-45. The boyfriend who survived was shot twice and taken to the hospital. He told police the car came out of nowhere and the driver started shooting at him, saying there was no interaction before that. The soon-to-be mom was excited for the future. Hernandez's family tells ABC 13 she was also starting a nail business. They want whoever did this to be held responsible. Now, here's the thing about it. I just find this, there's, there has to be more to the story. Either the shooter... This is who they have in custody. He either has something going on with the girlfriend or the boyfriend or gang initiation. But I find this interesting. The boyfriend said nothing transpired, the one that survived. Nothing transpired between them and the white car. So it leads me to believe the boyfriend was shot twice. He survived. She and the baby did not. I wonder if she knew the guy. I wonder if she knew uh, the one in the jumpsuit. She was killed. There are two people in the car. Who's the target? Who got most of the bullets? Because it sounds like to me, the target is her. And by her being a pregnant woman, come on. So some more information needs to come forward. It's just too vague. Maybe they're saying, oh, it's road rage. I just kind of think there's got to be more to the story. I wonder if this little, if the T-dot that they've got arrested. I wonder if he had any kind of relationship with the victim, the male victim. Or the deceased victim, the pregnant woman. The fact that she is pregnant, I just kind of find it hard to believe it was just maybe some random road rage. And maybe that is what it is. But I've seen maybe like four news clips. I think there's something more to the story. And of course, it may come out later. But I really do believe that either he knows the boyfriend, the boyfriend may have something going on out in the streets. I don't know. 17. Or the young woman. Could he be an ex? So I think there's a lot that remains to be seen. But the sad thing is another pregnant woman. Dusty's bring drama, death, and trauma. The financial implications is too much dust in the nation. So the first grandchild... The first nephew, her first business, her first baby, it all came to an end. Why? 
why such violence emotion unstable? I could be wrong, could be a stretch of disrespect. I wonder if he was uh, uh, hanging out with that girl. I, I just thought this is not right. I wonder what's his relation to the victim. Did he start thinking, oh, maybe, because, you know, <clears throat> in the B.C., and all men will do it, but in the B.C., it's quite prevalent when a woman says she's pregnant, girl, that could be your death stamp. Your death certificate could be coming. So why would he do this? It Again, it could be just road rage, but I'm thinking... It's, it's it, I mean, it's obviously to me intentional. So I'm kind of wondering, is he, was he her ex? Was he thinking it was his, his, her child? Or was he mad that she's carrying it, that she's moved on and has another man's child? Something about this is not right and something about in the milk ain't white. Something is wrong. So I hope more information develops, but w w why? You don't like someone or situation, just walk away. Why? So he took their lives. And now the state, they're going to take his freedom. Life has, as he knew it, it is over. Just start shooting. So she, so now the family, instead of having, I think one day before the baby shower, all the presents, the setup, it's over. So now the family has to start a funeral. Again, I don't know if she had a relationship with the dust bucket that allegedly shot and killed her and the baby. I don't know if she knew him at all, but this here sounds kind of personal. And if that is the case, it might be a preference learning a painful lesson. If there is a relationship there between her knowing him, resulting in her death and a child's death, the preference got a painful lesson. It is not uncommon when you tell a dust bucket that you a low performing man that you are pregnant, especially in the BC, the black ones. People think black women don't know what they're talking about. We know what we're talking about. How the hell do we not know we're the same ones who bring them into this world? We could stop that just like that. Couldn't breathe without us. They think we don't know what we're talking about. Then when something happens, then you might get the special treatment. You get the treatment, all right. The death treatment. That's what a minute black woman has got, especially when she says she is pregnant. I remember hearing a lawyer from Atlanta tell a woman that. Oh, what did she say? She was saying, um, just go on. Don't file for paternity. Don't, don't file for child support. It doesn't make any sense. Then when you see all the bodies turning up pregnant women in the B.C., turning up dead because a man doesn't want to pay child support, doesn't want to be accountable. Now it made sense to me. So we'll wait for the update. But I think a lot of information is being withheld. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And I'm out.